The body is supported within or around by a hard framework called skeleton. In the vertebrates, the skeletal system is mainly divided into exoskeleton and endoskeleton. Bones and cartilages are the hard supporting parts present inside the body forming endoskeleton. The study of bones is called osteology. Human endoskeleton is mainly bony with some supporting cartilages. The human endoskeleton consists of 206 bones in an adult. The skeleton performs many functions. It gives definite shape to the body and protects the internal vital organs like heart, brain, lungs, etc. The bones and cartilages provide surface for the attachment of muscles and also act as a system of lever and help in movement of body parts and locomotion. Red bone marrow present at the ends of long bones and spongy bones help in production of RBCs and other blood cells. Bones act as storehouse of calcium, phosphorus, magnesium salts. Human Skeleton Human endoskeleton is divided into two parts, namely axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. A. Axial skeleton Axial skeleton consists of 80 bones. It consists of skull, hyoid bone, vertebral column, and thoracic cage. The skull is formed by 28 bones. Human skull is dicondylar, that is, there is presence of two occipital condyles at the base of skull. Immovable except the mandible which is movable. It shows main parts like cranium, face, ear ossicles. Skull protects the brain and provides sockets for ear, nasal chamber and eyes. The skull gives proper shape to the head and face. Mandible bone helps in opening and closing of the mouth. Vertebral column. It is also called backbone or spine. It forms the central axis of the body. Human vertebral column consists of a chain of 33 small ring-like bones called vertebrae. In adult, five sacral vertebrae fuse to form a sacrum bone and four coccygeal vertebrae fused to form a coccyx bone. Thus, vertebral column consists of 26 bones. According to the position, the vertebral column consists of 7 cervical vertebrae, 12 thoracic vertebrae, 5 lumbar vertebrae, 5 sacral vertebrae, which are fused in adult to form a sacrum, and four coccygeal vertebrae, which are fused in adult to form a coccyx. Human vertebral column shows four curvatures, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral. The cervical and lumbar curvatures are directed forward while the thoracic and sacral curvatures are directed backward. The curvatures primarily help to balance the erect posture of body. Thoracic cage 
The thoracic cage is formed by 12 thoracic vertebrae, 12 pairs of ribs, and a sternum. Ribs are articulated dorsally with 12 thoracic vertebrae and ventrally and sternum. The last two pairs of ribs are called floating ribs. Sternum, that is the breastbone, is a long and flat bone. In adult, it measures about 15 to 17 centimeters in length. It is present in mid-ventral region. It is divided into three parts, manubrium body and xiphoid process. Thoracic cage gives proper shape to the thorax. It helps in breathing movements along with muscular diaphragm and intercostal muscles. B. Appendicular skeleton. It consists of 126 bones. It includes the bones of girdle and bones of limbs. Pectoral girdle is made up of two symmetrical halves. Each half consists of two bones, scapula and clavicle. Pelvic girdle consists of two large hip bones, innominate bones or coxal bones, which are articulated anteriorly in midline by cartilaginous joint called pubic symphysis. Each hip bone is formed by the ossification of ilium, pubis and ischium and hence also called os innominate or os coxal. Each forelimb consists of 30 bones. It consists of bones such as humerus, radius ulna and bones of hand. Each hind limb consists of 30 bones. It consists of femur, tibia, fibula and foot bones.